body needs oxygen to sustain itself. Without it, our brain cells will begin to die, which would ultimately lead to death. The respiratory system is a series of organs responsible for taking in oxygen and expelling carbon dioxide. The primary organs of the respiratory system are the lungs, which carry out this exchange of gases. A microbe is a microorganism that causes infections and diseases. The site in which they enter is called the portal of entry. The mouth and the nose and the respiratory system is the most common portal of entry for microbes. The respiratory system is divided into two parts, the upper respiratory tract and the lower respiratory tract. The upper respiratory tract consists of the mouth, nasal passages, paranasal sinuses, pharynx, and epiglottis. Air enters the respiratory system through the mouth and nasal passages. It passes down the pharynx through the larynx. The larynx is covered by a small flap called the epiglottis. The epiglottis closes during swallowing, thus preventing food and or drink from entering the airways. The paranasal sinuses are lined with mucous membranes. This membrane secretes mucus in a layer along cilia. The mucus traps the inhaled microbes and debris, while the cilia sweeps them back towards the nose and the mouth. As air passes from the nasal cavities and down the pharynx, it hits the epiglottis. This cartilage flap covers the larynx to seal off the airway during swallowing. This movement prevents food, drinks, and potential microbes from entering the lungs. The parts of the lower respiratory tract include the trachea, bronchi, and bronchioles. The trachea is the largest airway which branches into two smaller airways, the left and right bronchi. These both lead into the lungs. The bronchi then branch into many smaller airways known as bronchioles. At the end of each bronchiole is thousands of small air sacs known as alveoli. The mucociliary escalator is a ciliated mucous membrane that lines the lower respiratory tract. Just like in the upper respiratory tract, the mucus from the membrane traps inhaled debris and microbes and sweeps it back towards the mouth to prevent entry into the lungs. Inside the alveoli, there are alveolar macrophages, which clear out microbes that were not collected by the mucociliary escalator. Certain symptoms of the respiratory tract infection, such as a runny nose, coughing, and sneezing, help to expel pathogens from the lungs. However, these symptoms also provide a means for the next person to contract the pathogen. The last way the respiratory tract tries to limit microbes is through colonized microbiomes. Extensive research has shown that the lungs are colonized by normal microbiota. These are thought of to be more helpful than they are harmful. These microbiota are involved in the homeostasis of respiratory physiology and immunity. They compete with potential pathogens by secreting antimicrobial peptides to limit the growth of pathogens.